Oi, tis her. All dressed up to go out. Lying against nature. Uh-uh. Well, I never. Granny. <laughs> she must have seen something nasty in the woodshed. Welcome to Cold Comfort Farm. There's always been stock at a Cold Comfort Farm. But it's been some time since we've had a wedding here. I must admit that Elfin's wedding has not turned out quite as I'd planned. But I've never seen her looking lovelier or more radiant. So, so I give it my blessing. My great niece Flora has told me something very wise. What a pleasant life. How to put it, dear? What a pleasant life might be had in this world by a handsome, sensible old lady of good fortune, blessed with a sound constitution and a firm will. Jane Austen. Yeah. Jane Austen. Yeah. So, I'm taking her advice and leaving for Paris in a few moments. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. God bless you, Mum. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank now, you. remember, when you get to Nice, ask oh, for the Hotel Miramar. I will, my dear. I shall do exactly as you advise. You won't find me plucking my eyebrows, nor dieting, nor doting on the boy 25. <coughs> there is just one thing, Aunt Ada, before you go. What was the wrong Amos did my father? And what are my rights? Uh, Ada, well, uh, yes, my dear. Adam wants to come to Hokkaidor Hall with us and look after our cows. Do you mind? You know, we'll care for factories, aimless, graceless, and pointless. Adam, you wouldn't desert them. Never, ma'am. Take them with me. There's room for all the out you crawl. <laughs> well, you may take them if you want to, Adam. Bless you, Miss Starkadder. You're my good and after all. And bless you, Robert Post, child. You lifted the doom from cold comfort. Three cheers for Aunt Ada! Hey!